Now we are going to see arrange the following in descending order. Already we have seen ascending order. Arrange the following in descending order. This is the eighth subdivision. Now let's start the class. The first one is 14 by 17, 10 by 17, A sum, 14 by 17, 10 by 17, 12 by 17, 9 by 17. I have told you many times, first you have to look at the denominators. You have to look at the denominators. If the denominators are same, you have to look at the what numerators. So, first point you have to look at the denominators are same. So, look at all the denominators, all the denom in, 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 in this fraction, all the denominators are same. So, now we are going to see the what numerator. So, numerators are different 14, 10, 12, 9, all the numerators are different. So, we have to arrange the following in descending order. Descending order means biggest to smallest. So, first I have to write descending order means. So, descending, descending order means that is biggest to smallest, biggest to, biggest to smallest. This is very important. So, don't forget this biggest to smallest. So, what you are going to do, you have to arrange the descending order biggest number to smallest number. So, first you have to look at only the numerator, you have to consider your only the numerators. So, 14 by 17, next you have to write 12 by 17, next 10 by 17, next what 9 by 17. So, the answer is 14 by 17, 12 by 17, 10 by 17, 9 by 17. This is the right answer for the question. So, all the denominators same. If the denominator same, you have to look at only the numer numerators. So, numerators are uh, what different different numbers. So, all the nu numerators are different means you have to arrange in the descending order. If you want to arrange in descending order, you have to start with the biggest number to smallest number. That is what you have written. 14 is the very biggest number. The smallest number is 9. You start with 14 and end with 9. So, 14 by 17, 12 by 17, 10 by 17, 9 by 17. This is the proper descending order. The answer is perfectly correct. Next one is again 10 by 20, 4 by 20, 2 by 20, 11 by 20. Uh, look at all the denominators. So, you look at all the denominators. If all the denominators same, you have to see only the numerator. So, oh, 10 come off 10, 4, 2, 11. So, all the denominators are different. Okay. So, uh, sorry. All the numerators are different. First, you have to look at only the de denominators. In this fraction, all the denominators are same. So, you have to next next step, you have to move on to the what numerators. Look at all the numerators. All the numerators are different. So, you have to arrange in descending order. If you want to arrange in descending order, what you are going to do? You have to start with the biggest number and end with the smallest number. So, what you are going to do? First, which, is, which one is the biggest number in this fraction? So, 11 by 20 is the biggest number. Next one is what? 10 by 20. Next is what? 4 by 20. What is the next is 2 by 20. So, this is the proper descending order method. So, first one is 11 by 20. Next is 10 by 20. 4 by 20. 2 by 20. This is 11 is a what? 11 is a, a what is 11 by 20 is a very biggest number and 2 by 20 is a very smallest number. So, biggest to smallest. Here, it also biggest to smallest number. So, start with the biggest number and end with the smallest number. Start with the biggest number and end with the smallest number. Uh, that means here, start with the biggest fraction and end with the smallest fraction. That is the right answer for this question. So, I have told you, arrange the following in descending order means you have to start with the what biggest fraction to end with the smallest fraction. That is very important. First, you have to see the denominator. If the denominator is same, you have to move on to the numerator. Look at all the numerators. All the numerators a different means you have to arrange here only in descending order if that is if you want to arrange in descending order means you have to start with the biggest fraction to smallest fraction that is what I've written so in this fraction 14 is the biggest one 14 next is 12 next is 10 and after that 9 so 9 is the what uh, this is 9 is the smallest number so biggest to smallest first 14 next is 12 and next is 10 and finally 9 so biggest to smallest here also which one is the in this uh, b sum which one is a very uh, what greatest uh, fraction means 11 by 20 after the 10 by 20 next is 4 by 20 the last is 2 by 20 the so biggest to smallest this is the right answer for this question so descending order is over addition like fraction this is the new one uh, this is the first 
subdivision so addition like fraction like fraction means i've already taught you already we have seen a like fraction denominators always same if the denominator same if the denominator are same if the denominators are same it is a like fraction now we are going to see the addition addition like fraction addition like fractions so addition with like fraction means what you're going to do so all the denominators in both fractions denominator same if the denominator same mean you have to write after that you have to add with the numerator because in the middle of the part you have to see the sign if because we are going to see uh, we are going to solve or uh, we are going to do addition like fraction so 2 by 6 and 3 by 6 so all the denominators are similar so you have to write it one time and you have to add with the numerator if the denominator is same you have to add the numerator because it's an addition so 2 plus 3 you have to write the answer is 5 by 6 is the right answer for this question next is what is this that is 6 by 8 plus 1 by 8 okay so denominators are same you have to add the numerator because it's an addition so you have to write only one time uh, as the denominator after that you have to add the numerator write 6 plus 1 you can get 7 by 8 this is the right answer for the question next one so look at this 6 by 9 plus 2 by 9 6 by 9 is a fraction and 2 by 9 is another fraction you have to add look at the denominator all the denominators are similar right at one time and you have to add the numerator if the denominator is same if the denominator denominators are same in the fraction means in both the fraction if the denominators if the denominators are same in both the fraction you have to add the numerator that means 6 plus 2 you have to write 8 by 9 is a right answer next is look at this one 1 by 5 plus 0 1 by 5 plus 0 by 5 see in the in in both the fraction denominators are same you have to write it one time after that you have to add the numerator because it is the addition so you have to write 1 plus 0 you can get 1 plus 0 you can get only 1 is the answer so 1 by 5 is the answer for this question so i have solved all the problems so addition like fraction means only thing first you have to see the denominator if the denominators are same it is a like fraction after that next step you move on to the next step means you have to add the numerators so denominator you have to write only one time and after that you have to add the numerator add the two numbers then you have to write the final answer that is what i've done it okay